Hi everybody, it's Andrea and you are on Be The Brand TV, the place to be to live your value, love yourself enough to be yourself and lead with intention and purpose. On today's episode, I am sharing my three steps to minimize collaborative frustrations. Stay tuned. Your brand has value because of you and your confidence to share that value comes from within. Congratulations for recognizing your need for change. Welcome to Be The Brand TV. All right, guys, you already know what I'm talking about. You're a small business, you provide a service, so you don't have a product to sell or a widget to sell. You're providing your intellectual property. You're providing the research that you've done, the education that you have to help someone else get to where they want to be in their business. So you're maybe doing marketing or maybe you're coaching in some way, or maybe you're providing, um, gosh, I don't know, IT help, but you're providing a service. Well, every now and again, you run into different sets of circumstances where your frustration level just continues to rise for one reason or another. Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you my three steps to help you minimize those frustrations. Step number one is to know your own limitations. Yes, guys, I know we think we're awesome. We have tons of knowledge and we feel our value is way up here. But guess what? We have limitations and the best thing you can do when you begin working with other people is to recognize what those limitations are. That way you can build off of the strength of the person you're partnering with. You can find the yin to your yang in whatever project you're working on. If you're amazing at task A, but not so great at task B, find a partner who's great at task B so that you work well together and you're not stepping on each other's toes and you're not getting frustrated with the other person because they're not allowing you to do the job that you are there to do. So you want to know your own limitations. And guys, this comes from understanding your value. And time and time again, I've talked about this in my podcasts, on my blog posts, and on Be The Brand TV. We talk about living your value so that you can love yourself enough to be yourself. And what that means, guys, is being confident in the, the value that you're bringing to the table so that you don't feel like you have to pick up every dollar that is put down. You don't feel like you have to work with every person that wants to work with you. You have done your due diligence to determine what it is you want in your business, how you want to operate your business and the types of people you want to bring around you when you are partnering or you are building a team. So the first thing you need to do, the first step is to know your own limitations. Step number two is to keep open communication. So if now you know what your limitations are and you found the great partner that you want to work with, now let's use email, okay? Because when you are sending out tasks, when you're asking questions, when you're developing the, um, the work arrangement, your uh, email is going to be your documentation that proves what you said, is what you said, what they said is what they said. So there is no question, there is no like, you know, wondering what it is the other person is thinking or doing, or if you did tell them that, or if they told you this, you just wanna make sure that you are documenting every source of communication that is between the collaborators, because that is going to make sure that no one gets really frustrated over he said, she said, or assumptions. We all know what assumptions are. They can make a what out of you and me? Well, there you go. You don't want to assume, write it down. Keep open communication. So that's step number two. All right, the step number three that is so important and it is managing expectations. Oh my gosh. First of all, when you know your value, you know what it is you can and can't do. Again, those limitations, you know what they are. So when you start off a project collaborating with someone or partnering with someone, let them know upfront what you are bringing to the table. 
help them to manage their own expectations so they don't come at you thinking that you are going to be doing something different than you actually are doing. Make sure that you are sharing your specifics, what you're doing, what your role in the project is. Make sure you are very specific. Make sure you do your Q and A's ahead of time. Make sure they understand your role and you understand their role. That way through that communication piece that was number two, you are being um, open and honest and everyone is on the same page and you can manage expectations. When they come to you with something that is other than the communication that you've given them for the, at the beginning of the project or something other than what you have communicated as your strength when you told them or you expressed you know, how you wanted to work together because you knew your limitations, you can then come back to them with a way to help them manage their expectations. So I am just thrilled that I had the opportunity to share this with you this week because it has been something that has been on my mind for the past couple of months. I've been struggling with this um, and I thought it was something that maybe you also who has a service-based business may be struggling with as well because we have big hearts, especially if you were in the creative space, we love to create that as our thing. And so when people ask us, we're more than happy to help. But unfortunately, people out there take advantage. And the only way to minimize the frustration that happens in these collaborative efforts is to take heed to these three steps that I just shared with you. Step number one means knowing your limitations. Secondly, you want to make sure that you are keeping, keeping the lines of communication open. And then lastly, managing those expectations. So if you like this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you share it with those who may not know about Be The Brand yet. But if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, go ahead, like wherever that is. I don't know where on the page it is. But wherever it is, you make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I'm growing and I want you to grow with me. Uh, I will link the podcast that matches this video down below so that you can hear about uh, some other things I talked about in this in this area earlier in the week. So anyway, have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you next Thursday on Be The Brand TV. Okay, guys, if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and grab the information that I'm sharing with you below because my job here on Be The Brand is to help you live your value, love yourself enough to be yourself, and lead with intention and purpose. Until next time.